Hello, I'm back again. And this time I, I wrote down what I want to say in this video. <laughs> uh, which is about talking to people. <laughs> Something I'm not very good at. Maybe you can tell by these videos. And, uh, 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 yeah, and how many times I say, uh, or how many pauses there are in the, uh, uh, in my speaking like that. But, uh, anyway, or how many times I say anyway, <laughs> uh, there's one uh, at my work, uh, I'm, I'm a cashier at a gas station, so I have to uh, 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 um, I guess interact with people uh, every day sometimes uh, more on one day than another day but it just depends on how busy we are but uh, for the most part, these interactions are brief, uh, and I mostly say the same thing over and over again, like, hi, how are you, good, the, and then the customer asks me how I'm doing, and I'll say I'm good, and I'll um, uh, uh, yeah, like after I'm finished scanning uh, what they want to buy, I'll sometimes ask them if they have a rewards card. Not always, because the, the rewards card won't work for, uh, tobacco, alcohol, and lottery tickets. So I don't ask people who are just getting those things. Then I ask, is that everything? And then your total is such and such. And then like have a good day or good evening, depending on what, what, uh, time of day it is. And my coworkers, I've noticed we're, we'll also say the same stuff over and over again. Uh, uh, like they'll uh, say to customers just morning, uh, no matter what time of day it is, and how are you doing? And uh, like if a customer asks for tobacco or a lottery ticket, one of my co-workers will joke around and say, are, are you sure you're old enough for that? Even though they're clearly old enough. And that's also another thing I sometimes, uh, ask customers if they have any ID on them, if they're buying alcohol or tobacco and they don't look like they're uh, over age or if they're like young looking, but if they're clearly old enough, then I, I won't ask. And, uh, and then also, like, uh, another co-worker I have, he'll always tell customers, don't have too much fun out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I like that one, but, but I don't think I'll use it.
but I'll, I'm trying to work in new stuff to say, just a little bit more. Uh, everything's pretty fine with me talking to people. And the, the most, uh, frequently asked question I get is, uh, like, do you have a bathroom and, or where is your bathroom? And I just say it's, you know, in the back corner. But the conversations at my work are usually almost always fine and and I can easily get through them. Uh, but outside of work, the conversations are a different story. I, I never know what to, you know, say. How are you so good at this? The conversations usually end up being one-sided. The other person will normally be doing most of the talking, like asking me questions. And I'll just be giving short answers, usually. And my therapist sh showed me uh, that what happens is usually uh, um, that the other person will be getting information about me but I won't be getting very much information about them because I'm not asking questions. Like I, I've been writing down phrases and other short stuff to say in conversations and I uh, keep them uh, in my phone so that I can like, look at them before I start talking to someone and maybe work in some of those phrases uh, because I just uh, can never come up with something to say. I usually come up with something uh, after the conversation is over, long after. Uh, I'll think of the perfect thing to say. Oh, yes! That's what I should have said! Damn it! So uh, I gotta work on uh, coming up with stuff to say in the conversation. Uh, and and longer answers too, because uh, my mom actually told me uh, that when I was a kid or just younger, uh, people actually thought like, I was mad at them uh, because my answers to their questions would be so brief. Like, they would ask me how I was doing, and I would say, good. And that'd be it. So they would think, like, I was mad at them for some reason, so I wasn't talking to them. But I, I wasn't, and I just did that to everyone. And I'm not alone. Uh, at all. I'm far from alone uh, with this problem, I guess. Uh, there are many, many autistic people who uh, just don't know what to say or can't find the words or, or uh, just have problems uh, expressing himself that uh, that's like uh, uh, problems expressing yourself is like one of the main aspects of autism.
And one of the myths out there is that autistic people lack emotions or empathy, which, which is not true. Uh, many just have uh, trouble expressing them. Like myself and other autistic people will will uh, sometimes have to figure out why why they are feeling this way. Oh, what's the reason behind it? And and uh, and like like me, they'll just use uh, like short words to say how they are feeling, like, you know, good, great, pretty good, not bad, stuff like that. Uh, that that's normally how I, how I say how I'm feeling instead of like, uh, I'm feeling frustrated or confused or angry or depressed. Uh, I, I just don't use words like that. And, uh, and sometimes I'll be like searching for words that will explain how I feel or 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 uh, what's happening just just like a good descriptive word that can s sum up sum it up in a good way I'll be like stumbling over my words like I'm doing right now just to try to explain something and then I'll find out just one word that could have helped me explain it so much better. So I guess I need to uh, expand my emotional vocabulary to help me uh, uh, explain stuff better. Like, read the dictionary. That, that would help. <laughs> um, I, I have heard about autistic people doing that. Uh, so, maybe I should do that. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, and there's this one other thing I'll, I'll uh, say before... Uh, this video ends. Uh, it was at work a couple days ago, and this guy came in, and I was uh, ringing him up, and he commented on my voice. He said, like, I have the voice of Moses, like a real uh, a, um, uh, what was it, uh, a Dorothy voice. You shall drink bitter waters. Which is weird, because I don't think I could be an Dorothy figure. Like, I have trouble taking charge and stuff. And also, I don't think anyone knows uh, how Moses sounded. It's not like we have recordings of him or his voice. So he could have sounded like anything. Like he could have had a high squeaky voice. We, we don't know because he lived thousands of years ago. Oh, hear me! All pay heed! The Lord, the Lord Jehovah, has given unto you these fifteen... Oi. Ten! 
Ten Commandments for all to obey. It was weird. Uh, and also, I, I don't really like the sound of my own voice. <laughs> uh, which I, I think uh, a lot of other people would say the same thing. So it was just a weird statement. Uh, no one's ever said anything like that to me before. <laughs> and I don't really know what to make of it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, so until next video, uh, goodbye.